Hey everyone, it's Mike from Regala Photography here. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you basically it's a real quick cu couple tips here and there um, how not to over edit your photos. Uh, with digital age, it's just been so easy to be able to edit photos that people just take the sliders and push them all one way or the other. And I'll tell you, it's just it's these photos are just not, they're not looking very good. They're not looking real. Okay, they're not looking real. Yes, we want our photos to stand out. And I'm I'm one of them that does like to push the limits a little bit. But there there is a fine line between looking good and being over edited. Um, and especially when it comes to landscape photos. You can see here I am in Lightroom Classic. I have a photo here. First things first, what I do is come up and I do my profile. Okay. Now, again, I say it time and time again, I use linear profiles normally. Um, I have a video showing you how to make your own linear, linear profiles. They're camera specific. I strongly suggest you make your own linear profile. Takes a couple minutes, not hard to do. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use Adobe Neutral. And what that does is it kind of balances everything out. Now, I could go with... Oh, let me see, Adobe Standard, which isn't too bad. Kind of overexposed it a little bit. Um, and then also Adobe Standard. Now, Adobe Standard and Adobe Color, they're almost the same. Personally, though, I would go with Adobe Neutral. And then now here's where you would play with everything. First thing you want to do is your tone. So you want to get, the basically it's contrast is what you're trying to get. And through tone is how you get contrast. Um, I strongly suggest you turn your little blinkies on here. This way, this side right here is for if you are underexposed, um, it'll show up with a blue uh, overlay. And if you are overexposed, that's this one right here, it'll show up as a red overlay. Turn them on so you know, so you're aware. So the first thing I would do is I would probably bring the exposure up a little bit, just to brighten it up. There you go. And then I skip the contrast usually right now and I'll bring the highlights down and in this case I could bring them way down shadows I think I'll bring them down a little bit to kind of bring some more contrast in there whites I want to bring them up a little bit to make the sailboats and the clouds pop a little bit and then the blacks in this particular photo I'll bring the blacks down and now you can see just those moves right there those sliders there's before there's after before and after um, you know, again, it, it, every photo is going to be different, but we're going to, don't forget, we're going to go back over this with masks. So this is that, this is just to get your foundation set texture. I like to add a little bit of texture. If I'm doing a landscape, I will add a little bit of clarity. If I'm not doing a landscape, if I'm doing like a portrait, I would do a negative clarity. But in this case, I'm going to do a little addition of clarity. Dehaze in this case, I'm going to add some dehaze just to kind of make the sky the sky was dark and i'm going to darken it a little bit more in a bit but i just want to start bringing that contrast back and then vibrance i'm going to bring the vibrance up i'm not going to touch the saturation right now I, again i might try it later but i'm not going to do it right now so you can see right there there's your basic so again there's before and there's after before and after so it's it's already a much better photo as it is, and you know technically, you could leave it as it is and post it, and it'll be a good photo. But we're gonna make it even better, so we're gonna get out of that. And then now what I want to do is my sharpening. What I do is I bring the radius down, the detail all the way up. Masking. What I'll do is I'll hold down the Option key on a Mac, and what this does with the masking is. Wherever there's white, that's where it's going to sharpen. So I am going to mask out everything except for those sailboats and mostly that uh, pier right there and leave it at that. And then I'm going to actually increase my sharpening just to make it pop out a little bit. And again, landscape, you could push it a little bit more depending on what you're taking, um, what your photo is. If it's a portrait, you want to kind of back it off a little bit. So if it was a portrait, I'd probably be between 50 and 60. Landscape, I can go between 70, maybe 80. I've gone higher with some photos, but with the clouds, I don't want to push it too much. 
Calibration is where I go. This is to adjust your color. For the most part, this looks pretty good. I'm just going to kind of tweak it a little bit. And if you were in like a forest or a wooded area with a lot of greens, this would really, really make a difference here. Um, in this case, the only one that's really going to make a difference is this, the blue primary. I can make the clouds a little more cyan or I can make them a little more magenta. In this case, I don't want to do that with these clouds or this sky, but I do want to add saturation. I didn't touch the saturation on the other ones. This one I did only because the sky that particular day were, it was very dark. This, I'm actually going to make these even darker in a minute. Uh, tone curve. Here's where you can play around with that. What I do is I'll put one dot in the middle, one dot over here for the darks, and then one dot for the lights. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase my highlights a little bit. I'm going to bring my darks down a little bit. And actually, I'm going to bring midtones down. Again, not too much. But again, you could see just that tone curve alone before after before after made a huge difference color grading this photo doesn't really need much because again for this particular photo it was a stormy sky so it was a little on the blue side but i always do my highlights first uh there was some sun so i'm gonna put a little bit i'll fix that later with the saturation I'm going to go more yellow instead of orange. And I'm going to bring that saturation or saturation way down. And I'm going to bring the luminance up because again, it was a stormy day. The sun was kind of peeking through, but it wasn't like extremely warm. Now blues or darks, I should say, I'm going to add some blues into the darks and I'm not going to go crazy again. You know, a little goes a long way. And I'm going to darken this up even more uh, right there. So again, you can see before, after, before, after. Little, it, it, you're layering these effects on top of your photo. And then if you take it all the way from the beginning, there's before, there's after. Before, after. Again, already a better photo. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come into masking. First things first, I'm going to use a linear mask and I am going to darken this water up here, down here, I should say, just to kind of use it as a frame almost for the sailboats. Maybe yeah, right there. That looks good right there. All right. Now I'm going to go into the sky. So I'm going to do a generic sky mask right here. I'm going to bring the exposure down. Again, and again, the sky this particular day was actually, it was probably even darker than that. Uh, highlights, I'm going to bring them down just to make those, clo those clouds pop a little bit. Uh, shadows, bring them down a little bit there. Whites, I'm going to bring them up. You, and here you can see, this is why I turn my little, my little blinkies on there because if I go too far, it's going to overexpose. Let me move the whites up a little bit. Kind of make that sky pop. And then I'm going to bring the blacks down for this particular photo. Now you can see here, I need to bring that blue back. I need to, it was starting to get a little too much. I'm going to darken it in a minute, but right there. Okay. Now I am also going to do another linear gradient. And I'm going to come down kind of at an angle this way. And again, this is just more like a frame. I'm going to darken that up there a little bit. Okay, and again, now you can see all of a sudden these sailboats are really popping. They're really popping out there. Um, okay, there's that. Uh, let's see here. I am going to do, let's do a select subject. I know this is going to select some of the, the pier here. Oh, actually, it didn't, a little bit right here. Um, but I'm not going to really mess with that. All I want to do here is I want to brighten them up a little bit. Again, watch my, my, my blinkies there. I'm going to bring the highlights down just a tad, blacks down, and I'm going to come down here to my texture, and I'm going to bring down the clarity as well. So there's that one. Now, let me see here. 
we want to do a radial. And what I'm going to do here, again, those of you that have watched my videos before, you know that uh, this is one of my tricks. I like to bring the exposure up a little bit. Now in this case, I want to bring the highlights and the whites down a little bit so I can bring the exposure back up a little bit. And then I'm going to do a, another radio like this and make it almost the full size of the photo. Just like that. Make sure you kind of feather it a little bit there and then click this little invert. So now I'm going to basically create a vignette just like that. So your subject will pop in the middle and then you kind of frame it with your vignette right there. All right. So that's mask. I may come back to adding a few more. Um, now is when I want to come into the color mixer. Uh, let's go to saturation here. These, the oranges and the yellows right there, I do want to make them pop a little bit. So let's add a little bit yellow and I'm going to add a little bit of red too, just to make those red ones pop. Add a little more there. And then I want to actually come over and I'm going to add some vibrance or luminosity, I should say, brighten them up a bit. All right. And let me see what else is there. The blues. I want to come over to the blues and I want to darken. Oop, too much there. Not too much. Right there. A little bit more. We could push this a little bit. All right. One more trick I forgot to show you. And then we'll be pretty much done. I want to come back to this sky mask here. All right, I'm on that. I clicked it. And what I want to do is I want to come down here to the effects section. And what I want to do is I want to bring up the clarity. Now, normally you, we, you got to be really careful with this because it will bring some contrast. But I'm going to bring down the texture. And what that does, it'll soften. It brings the contrast. Because again, these were storm clouds. You wouldn't do this for every cloud. And pretty much this photo is done. Here's before, all the way back at the beginning. There's after. Before, after. One thing to keep in mind is contrast and saturation. If you're going with too much contrast or too much saturation, you're going to push it too far and it's going to be over edited. Hopefully this helped you out and you won't be over editing your photos. Please subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. It really, really is helping my channel a lot. And until next time, take care, everyone.